și sunt studentă în anul 3 la specialitatea traducere și interpretare limba engleză și franceză. Uh, voi face prezentare în limba engleză. So, uh, my today's presentation is entitled Peculiarities of Translating Environment Terminology from English into Romanian. My research advisor being uh, Shalaru Nadirta. My objectives today are to reflect upon the actuality of this subject, to describe environment terminology as a particular field, and to research and analyze the peculiarities of translating environment terminology from English into Romanian. Speaking about the actuality of this subject, uh, nowadays environment and its protection is a topic that is being discussed worldwide because it is becoming an increasingly, increasingly serious problem for the entire planet. That is why I assume that it is important for this subject to be debated and analyzed. This field has a lot of terms that can be analyzed according to the scientific study terminology. The process of forming terms in the field of environment is complex. So these terms need to be explained by specialists because most of them come from different languages, which is a real challenge for we translators. Uh, my theoretical approach consists of general analysis of environment terminology. So uh, as for the theoretical approach, I will focus on creation of environmental terms. Uh, as we all on the classification of uh, environmental terms and lastly on the methods of translation. As for the creation, uh, as for the creation of uh, environmental terms, as we all know, generally the word formation is the process or result of forming new words which derive from groups or word groups with the same root. Uh, the first uh, technique. Uh, that I observed in the creation of environmental terms was uh, compounding. The process of compounding is uh, formation effected by um, combining existing words. Uh, compounds can be complex terms, phrases or blends, such as uh, seabirds, which is uh, composed of the word sea plus birds, or snowflake, which is composed from snow plus flake. The second um, technique is borrowing. Uh, this refers to the full adoption of terms from uh, another languages. An example is uh, oxygen from French oxygen and uh, energy from the French uh, energy. Uh, the last one is blending. Blending is the creation of a new word by joining the beginning of one word and the ending of another word such as the word smoke, smoke uh, which is blended by the smoke plus fog. Or um, I found another example, channel plus tunnel, channel. <laughs> um, the second one, classification of environmental terms. Uh, classification um, is done by a number of criteria, and the most important ones, I think, are the form, function, and subject field. Uh, according, um, according to the form, uh, this, um, these terms can be simple, complex, or even abbreviations. Uh, complex terms are um, formed by a combination of words, um, and the abbreviations are a shortening of words, such as, such as in the word uh, kilogram, we know all the abbreviation. Um, the third one is the subject field. Uh, subject field is a branch of human knowledge which is comprised of a set of related concepts or a concept system. So every term belongs to a specific subject field such as physics, biology, um, chemics, legal, and many others. Uh, regarding methods of translation, uh, Peter Newmark refers to the following methods of translation. Word-for-word -word translation, literal translation, free translation, adaptation, um, idiomatic translation, faithful translation, and semantic translation. And these methods will be developed by me in the practical part. Uh, so as for the practical approach, uh, I focused uh, primarily on translation techniques. Uh, the first one being literal translation, uh, transposition, modulation, and uh, calc or loan translation. 
uh, as coached by um, Ms. Gabriela Shaganyan in translation techniques used in rendering environment protection terminology from 2013, there is no limit in the usage of various techniques of translating. During this process, the translator opts for different means to render successfully the meaning of the text and to shape properly the form of the target text. This is an intellectual process that requires experience and knowledge. Uh, in translation studies, literal translation is often associated with the scientific, technical or technological uh, uh, texts. Uh, for instance, uh, literal translation is used in... Um, for the English version, we have um, marine litter or plastic soup is a threat to wildlife as seabirds can mistake fragments for food. Uh, for the Romanian version, we have deșeurile marine for marine litter, sau supa de plastic for plastic soup, uh, reprezintă o amenințare la adresa vieții sălbatice, întrucât păsările marine le pot confunda din greșeală cu alimente. Uh, the second uh, technique of translation is transposition. Transposition uh, is the process where parts of speech change uh, their sequence when they are translated. Uh, for example, in the English version, we have a disposable diaper or a plastic bottle can take around 500 years to split into such microscopic pieces. For the Romanian version, we have pentru un scutec de unica folosință sau o sticlă din plastic poate fi nevoie de aproximativ 500 de ani pentru a se diviza în particule microscopice. Uh, the third technique uh, is modulation. As we all know, modulation consists of using a phrase that is different in the source and target language to convey the same idea. For the English version, we have <coughs> uh, pollution always comes from somewhere. For the Romanian version, we have poluarea are întotdeauna o sursă. Um, the last technique is calc or long translation. Calc or long translation um, is a phrase borrowed from another language and translated literally word for word. For the English version, we have non-indigenous species are species which are not native to a region but have, uh, have either got there accidentally from ballast water in ships, for example, or have been introduced deliberately. So for the um, <coughs> uh, words ballast water, uh, in the Romanian version we have apa de ballast, which is a calc. Uh, this calc comes from French, yoja ballast. Uh, which was translated in English, and when we translate in Romanian, it's the same. Uh, conclusions. Generally, the terminology of terms from environmental field represents an intensive research that requires work, abilities, and exploration. The translation of these terms sometimes requires their search in reliable sources, which gives us their equivalence from source language to target language. For me, environmental terminology seems to be more complex than the others. Therefore, the translation of it supposes a complicated work which requires knowledge, skills, experience, and of course, a continuous professional growth. As for the recommendations, okay. um, as during the process of translation, there might be met exceptions, such as polysemantic terms that do not have equivalence in the target language, Bad translation requires a multi-dimensional knowledge in different fields of study. And the second one, this kind of terminology forces the translator to possess vast knowledge in many domains, not only in the environment terminology. So it's important to use the glossaries compiled in advance during these three years of study and all the material that can be helpful in this process of translation and rendering the meaning from English into Romanian. This is my uh, bibliography. And thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. Very interesting topic.